Welcome to the Marshall School of Business. This video is a quick introduction to GoToMeeting. It will not take the place of one-on-one -on -one instruction or reviewing GoToMeeting documentation. It is a great place to start for people who just want to dive in. Contact the Marshall Help Desk to get a GoToMeeting license. You will receive an email with link to instructions on how to download software and set up your account. Your new GoToMeeting account will be linked to your Marshall email address. Scheduling of meetings is integrated with Microsoft Outlook Client installed on your office computer. GoToMeeting is a cloud-based web conferencing system. As a holder of a Marshall GoToMeeting license, you are called an organizer. Students are called attendees. With GoToMeeting, you can contact students and colleagues anywhere via a worldwide server network. As a meeting organizer, you will need a computer with an internet connection, webcam with built-in mic, or you can use headphones or a telephone. Most laptops already have a built-in camera and microphone. With GoToMeeting, you can meet one or up to 25 students simultaneously. Students are able to view your computer's desktop and hear your voice. While sharing your desktop, you may also choose to let the student take control of your mouse. As the organizer, you have complete control of the meeting. You can mute or unmute any or all students, manage the chat string, and choose which students are viewed. GoToMeeting can record classes to create online teaching materials, leaving more class time for activities, discussions, and problem solving. Let's go ahead and begin. This is the login screen within GoToMeeting.com. Use your Marshall email address and the password you created when you set up your account. Schedule a meeting by left-clicking on My Meetings next to the yellow flower icon. Click on the Host the Meeting button. Within the pop-up, choose Schedule Meeting. This is the scheduling pop-up. Enter the time and date. Is the meeting reoccurring? Keep the audio settings as is. These settings will allow participants to use a telephone or the computer's mic and speakers. There is no need for a password as you will be sending invitations to specific email addresses. Clicking Schedule will launch Outlook. GoToMeeting automatically generates an invitation, including a link for participants to follow when they get your meeting invitation. It also includes dial-up information and a meeting ID. Enter the participants you want to join. Press Send. The meeting invitations have now been sent via Outlook. However, adding several people into Outlook meeting invitation can be tedious. Marshall undergraduates are also not listed within the global directory. In these cases, save your scheduled Outlook meeting, but invite people using an alternate email system. Do this by selecting and copying the meeting information and pasting it into another email system such as Blackboard. Emailing the login information from Blackboard saves time because you don't have to enter student email addresses and it also consolidates all of your student correspondence within that system. On the day of your meeting, log in to gotomeeting.com and click on My Meetings. There you will see a list of all your meetings. Click on the meeting you would like to begin. This will launch the GoToMeeting application on your computer. Let's take a look at the organizer's toolbar. Notice that by putting your pointer over any button, the functionality of that button is displayed. The orange arrow expands or reduces the menu bar. Green means the function is operating normally. In this case, the menu bar is indicating that your microphone is hot. Meeting participants can hear you when this button shows green. A black colored icon means the item is off. In this case, your camera is off. Clicking to green activates your camera so participants can see you. A grayed out icon means the item is unavailable or not connected. In this case, we are unable to make someone a temporary presenter because no participants have signed on. These big blue buttons duplicate some of the controls on the left. A list of your participants will appear here. You have the power to mute their mic, mute their camera, or make them a presenter by clicking on these small buttons. It is best to mute everyone while you are talking and unmute them when asking participants to respond. 
toward the bottom of the toolbar, you can see the chat string. The last button to look at is the record button. Click on settings to open the preferences window. Record audio, but the video format should be Windows Media Player. The video file is saved to this location on your computer. Click OK to save settings. Press this button to start recording. Let's begin a quick meeting countdown. Begin your meeting a few minutes early, before the scheduled start time. Mute your microphone until the meeting starts. Edit your welcome message. Manage the chat audience. Choose whether you're going to use your telephone or your computer's mic and speakers. Turn off on hold beeps. Display your computer screen to participants. You are ready to begin your meeting. If you have questions or comments about GoToMeeting, please call the Marshall Help Desk or visit GoToMeeting.com and click on Support.